Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. The General Atomics RQ-1 Predator was one of the first successful remotely piloted reconnaissance and surveillance aircraft in the world. For nearly 100 years, aircraft reconnaissance, attack, and defense have necessitated one or more pilots. Having these men and women engaged in active combat not only put their lives at risk, but also limited operations based on human endurance. With the introduction of the RQ-1 Predator in 1995, all of that changed. I was a young captain assigned to the 15th Reconnaissance Squadron, and I was deployed supporting Operation Southern Watch, and was actually brought back early from that deployment to be a part of the operational test and evaluation of the weaponized Predator out at China Lake. After the first test shot, I could tell right away that something significant was happening. By putting a laser-guided missile on the Predator weapon system, we went from being purely an ISR system, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, to a multi-purpose strike platform. The Predator was later upgraded to perform multi-role functions, like interdiction and armed reconnaissance. after which it was designated as the MQ-1 Predator in 2002. The MQ-1 could stay aloft for 24 hours and reach heights of up to 25,000 feet. Controlled on the ground by a team of three, the Predator could penetrate enemy airspace to provide surveillance or launch AGM-114 Hellfire missile attacks against a multi-spectral targeting system. However, as drone technology moves incredibly fast, the MQ-1 was retired in 2018. Its replacement was the MQ-9 Reaper, an even more versatile and advanced drone design. In a lot of ways, the MQ-9 was a natural evolutionary step from the MQ-1. The newer model was larger, heavier, and more capable than its older brother. Instead of boasting a relatively weak 115 horsepower engine, the Reaper's 950-horsepower turboprop allowed it to reach speeds of up to 300 miles per hour and reach heights of 50,000 feet when called upon. The Reaper packs quite a punch in combat, carrying air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles, laser-guided bombs, and more. Its new and improved range covered 1,200 miles, allowing it to provide crucial air support to teams operating on the ground. Here, one can see the MQ-9 Reaper at work at the Alpena Combat Readiness Training Center in Michigan. The drone participates in Norther Strike 21, a combat readiness exercise where it can practice dropping weapons like these 500-pound laser-guided bombs. The weapons are bolted to the hard points on the MQ-9 by highly trained ordnance crews, just as would happen with any other aircraft. These weapons feature a built-in safety mechanism where the fuse only arms after the bomb is released from the hard point. This helps protect ground crews in case any accidents occur while loading the munitions.
One of the most important features of the MQ-9 is its ability to operate from a wide variety of runways. Some models have automated takeoff and landing capabilities that shorten the operation runway requirements to under 3,000 feet. The Reaper boasts a wingspan of 65 feet on a fuselage that is only 36 feet. This provides a lot of additional lift and helps minimize fuel consumption while the drone is in the air. Of course, one thing that truly makes the MQ-9 and drones like it unique is the sheer amount of technology that goes into each one. Unlike the Predator, the Reaper can be controlled by just two people on the ground. Its advanced avionics include a multi-spectral targeting system and several types of radar. Everything the drone sees is instantly beamed back to the pilot and navigator in real time. Further enhancing the responsiveness of the aircraft. While modern drones are stealthy and highly effective at performing a wide range of missions, they are far from invulnerable. Moreover, it's not as if U.S. allies are the only countries to have embraced drone technology. For this reason, a wide variety of anti-drone countermeasures have been developed. One of the most effective of these anti-drone weapons is the Drone Defender. The main part of the system is handheld and looks a lot like a missile launcher. These devices can identify audio and visual signatures that automated systems cannot always detect. and are specifically designed to jam the drone's frequencies. They are lightweight, portable, and can be used quite easily by troops on the ground to neutralize drones of all sizes and types. Another anti-drone system the United States military has explored is known as a compact laser weapons system. These directed energy weapons are designed to provide reliable defense against unmanned aircraft. They vary in size, but manufacturers are developing models that are small enough to be transported and operated by a single soldier. They can also be mounted on combat vehicles. Unlike the Drone Defender, the CLWS is fully automated. It detects and identifies drones and then fires a high-energy infrared beam to disable the incoming aircraft, causing it to crash. The beam can also be focused on specific parts of the drone, such as weapon systems, wings, and detonators. In 2009, the U.S. Navy turned to Northrop Grumman in an effort to develop drone technology that could be effectively used at sea. Generally, Navy vessels travel in what is known as strike groups. 
These feature an aircraft carrier and multiple other ships, allowing each one to protect the other from the air, at sea level, or, in the case of submarines, under the water. With the aid of specialized Navy drones, ships traveling without access to air support could enjoy more protective surveillance. Northrop Grumman's answer was the MQ-8B Fire Scout, an unmanned helicopter drone that was small and versatile enough to stay in the air for up to eight hours and reach altitudes of nearly 20,000 feet. However, it is also capable of carrying weapons such as advanced precision kill weapon system rocket pods to facilitate both attack and defense. Though 30 were built and remained in use, the Navy ended up not pursuing the program long term. In 2011, Northrop Grumman demonstrated another drone concept for the U.S. Navy, the X-47B. This unmanned combat aerial vehicle, or UCAV, was specifically designed for aircraft carrier-based operations, including all of the necessary equipment to take full advantage of the Catabar launch and recovery system. The X-47B strongly resembles a scaled-down version of the B-2 bomber, boasting no tail and a delta wing design to enhance lift and allow short takeoffs. It's capable of traveling just under Mach 1 and can carry up to 4,500 pounds of ordnance across a 2,400-mile range. Like other drones, it boasted highly advanced avionics and was even capable of operating with minimal involvement from the ground. In order to save space aboard the ship, the X-47B was designed with wings that fold up at the midpoint. Already, the X-47B has been employed right alongside manned aircraft like the F-18. And while the program was phased out by the U.S. Navy in 2015, one thing that is clear is that the future of aviation and war in general will increasingly rely on unmanned vehicles. This not only means reduced casualties, but also increased precision and longer mission times. Of course, even the best drone is currently nothing without a highly skilled crew. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.